Notre Dame has its newest cornerback commitment in the 2021 class and the fourth overall defensive back pledge and Chance Tucker from just outside Los Angeles, six foot one, 170 pounder, picked Notre Dame over uh, Colorado, Boise State, Washington was really um, Notre Dame's biggest competition. Washington State, Oregon State, several other schools had offered him. He had over 20 in total, but like I said, really came down to Notre Dame and Washington. Uh, this is Mike Singer, blueandgold.com, joined by our beat writer, Patrick Engel, to discuss this new commitment for the Fighting Irish. Tucker's a really interesting commitment for the Fighting Irish, Patrick, and I'll, I'll give my thoughts, but um, what, what, what's your reaction to this commitment, Patrick? What do you think it means to the Fighting Irish? It's definitely one of those, hey, we have to accept that we're not going to host kids on campus and a player who's kind of expecting I'm not going to go get to you know, see campuses in a full usual recruiting capacity for quite some time. And Tucker went to go on his own, just visit Notre Dame himself, check it out, you know, not having to being able to meet the staff, did the same thing with Washington earlier in July, but definitely a uh, kind of one of those recruitments that, you know, it's kind of, you know, the standard, you know, MO these days of how recruiting works in the middle of all this, but an interesting deal where Notre Dame offered him June 2nd. He was not ranked at that point. Now he's a 5.6 on the rivals scale, three-star recruit. And you know, say what you will about, you know, where that comes from, uh, you know, whatever that says about the type of kid, you know, Notre Dame should or should be recruiting or wherever you want the you know, lofty visions of the class ranking any, any sure. up, all that kind of stuff. But if nothing else, the, push and, and offer and, and real interest there from Washington kind of speaks for itself, understanding, you know, just how much and, you know, how many you know, defensive backs they've been able to churn out in a lot of these recent years. And this is now Jimmy Lake's program, a former defensive coordinator and defensive backs guy. If, if he wants you, I think it speaks to a, sure. you know, a certain element of the, a kid can play to an extent. And when you watch him, I think he's you know definitely a corner at the next level listed at six one kind of feels like a boundary corner type of mold, even though he's a little on the smaller side right now, as far as bulk, but comfortable playing in bump and run and in bail has enough speed to be able to run with guys and you know, the physicality to be able to, to stick in some one-on-ones good at locating the ball and turning around. You see some, some fluidity there. The plays receiver for his high school team too, but I Notre Dame, definitely sees him as a corner. And I think that's you know the right fit there for Notre Dame and just for him in college in general. Yeah, good stuff, man. You mentioned him as a boundary guy. I think if you look at just this defensive back class, and of course on Notre Dame's roster, there's going to be a lot of other defensive backs than just the guys in this class. But if you look at the two corners they have, um, I, three corners, but you know Barnes is this tweener guy. We're not really sure what he's going to do, but he's just a defensive back. And Ryan Barnes is just a really good football player. And personally my favorite DB of the class, but the two guys that I see as pure corners um, in Tucker and Philip Riley, a four-star prospect, Riley's a little bit bigger and thicker. You put him in the boundary to guard someone like Chase Claypool and then chance Tucker out in the field. Um, man, I, I think this is a, a defensive back class that complements each other really well across the board. Um, you have these two corners, uh, who, I, who I just mentioned complement each other well. You've got Justin Walters, that hard-hitting safety. Ryan Barnes, who is a guy who's versatile and can do it all. Um, and then you look at the guys who, um, if Notre Dame does want to add a fifth defensive back, there are some really good options to make sure uh, to check out blueandgold.com for an article I'll be posting this week called What's Next um, for Notre Dame's defensive back recruiting in 2021. Uh, my, my analysis of this take um, – I love it. I really do. You mentioned if Washington and Jimmy Lake were after him, it's probably a good indication um, that he's a, is a decent player. Not that every defensive back that goes through there is going to be some all American big time player, but Jimmy Lake's a defensive back guru. Um, he really is. And, and I think when Washington offered that kid probably was like a good little indicator, Notre Dame, Hey, we should, we should take a look here as well because the Huskies, I want to say offered two or three weeks before Notre Dame did, but on the field, I think his – I say I mentioned a guy like Philip Riley. I think Riley is a better overall just stud athlete. But Tucker 
is just a pure cover cornerback. His press is good. You mentioned his bail technique is solid. Um, he, you see his clips. He looks back for the ball really well. So a lot of times um, when you're watching tape, the, the corners are just physically dominant against the guys they're going against. Well, with Tucker, you can see a lot of his tape. Um, excuse me. You can see a lot of his uh, technique and how well he's coached uh, on his huddle film. So uh, love the take for Notre Dame. They had to work hard in this recruitment, Patrick, because uh, Washington was the leader. Or I would even say um, a week and a half, a week before he announced his pledge, uh, I think they were the, the leader in the clubhouse. And I think the Fighting Irish staff, Clark Lee, Brian Polian, uh, Mike Mickens, Terry Joseph, Brian Kelly, I think the entire staff did a really good job of, of, uh, of landing that commitment. 